How often do you throw stones at other, rocks at others? When you say stones, you're saying uh, judging? Others? Yes. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Uh, I used to do it a lot. Uh, I'm, now that I'm really like praying, like in the morning and in, in, in the evening and stuff like that, and I don't really, really silent. I was raised, I'm, I'm a PK. What's preacher's, a P preacher, preacher's kid. Oh, okay. okay I'm sorry was, to hear that. <laughs> yeah. What a trauma, huh? I know. <laughs> And my father, he was, uh, well, of course, they're up there preaching and stuff like that. But I would hear him in his bedroom and, and praying and stuff like that. Um, and he would pray it out loud. So I haven't had really, uh, like, really sat there and just quiet, 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 and just thinking and thoughts because a lot of thoughts enter my head and it messes me up. So I pray out loud, not loud. Or I go to my trailer and I just speak. And I talk. So you don't uh, do the silent prayer right now? Not really, not really silent, silent. But I do uh, pray, uh, and uh, and I pray till I'm, you know, of course I'm done. I don't set a timer or nothing like that. I just right. pray. But uh, I've since I've been listening to you, uh, it's been really, really helping me, and removing a lot of anger, which I did have. I had it for my father, and after he passed, I realized I had to forgive him, and I did. And it released a lot of anger. And I was able to think good thoughts about him after that. And before I couldn't, it was... Give me an example of a good thought about him, if you can think of one. Good more. thought is the things that we grew, grew up doing together. Um, him teaching me, you know, how to build a skateboard and... Oh, know, I see what you mean. Yeah. And did you forgive things. your mother? I haven't spoken to her in a couple of years, and we don't even know where she is. Oh, you don't know where she is? Where she is, no. Nice. No, I have no idea. Nobody, uh, my brothers, nobody. Good. Yeah. You must be celebrating. Yeah, I have to, uh, I need to talk to her, though. Yeah, you need I, to find her, forgive yeah, her. I need to find her and to let her know that what she did to us. Yeah. And uh, turned us away from my father because uh, when he left, uh, she talked really bad about him. But when I forgave, he, uh, when I forgave him, uh, I would tell her, you know, you need to let this go. You know, you need to stop th talking bad about him. Yeah. And uh, and uh, she didn't understand it. You know, so that's what I have to share with her because she has to release it too. Nice. Well, I want to encourage you to do what you want, but do your little hoop and holler. And when you're done, be still and know God. Give it a try. I don't do the hoop and holler, and I don't do that. No, but, but when you're down speak. there, what kind of things you pray for? I thank God for everything that I, from where I was to where I am now, mm -hmm. he has been good. How often do you thank him? Every day. Why? I just feel it in my heart to do that. Do you think he wants you to thank him every day? Mm, I don't know. No, he, he does. does. He might be quiet. Oh, you already thanked me one time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm just grateful. Yeah. Do the silent prayer. Give it a try. Let me know what you think about it. Okay. But do your prayer, your prayer with the Satan, right? And then, and then be still and know God. And let me know what you think about it. Okay. All right. Did you know you were praying to the devil before you heard me say that? Uh, that I was praying to the devil? Oh. Uh, no. But in your mind, you thought you were praying to God, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you know what your daddy did. Mm. Yeah, because when he was praying in, out loud in the bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's where you learn that from. Yeah. That's worshiping the devil. Mm. And God, are, God know, God doesn't even need us to appreciate it. He doesn't need us to keep saying thank you. Mm. He just need us to let the light work through us. We need. He's trying to bring light into the world. And so all he needs is that we let the light shine. He don't need it, but that's what we're here for, to let the light shine through us, to bring those that are lost to him that can't see. And he's going to provide all this stuff for you, and he doesn't need you thanking him over and over again. Really, he already know you appreciate it. It'll be like your wife coming home every day thanking you. Thank you, thank you. You're like, okay, be quiet. You thanked me last week. Right? Same thing. He know you appreciate it. Okay. But keep thinking of him until you see it for yourself. Not because I see it, because I know how we've been trained, and it's hard to let that identity go because it feels like you, you're not going to be a Christian. It feels like you, 
don't believe in God and feel like you're going against God. Did you know that the truth is for all to receive it? That wants it? Did you know that the same truth that was in God in Christ is in us too? It's the same thing. He, is not, he didn't treat Christ any differently than he treated us. That same truth that was in Christ is in us. It's no different. We already know the truth, and it's the same truth that was in the Son is in us as well. But people got Christ in such a, 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 a magical way, they think the love and truth that he had is not in them, but it is, because it's in their imagination about him. He said he was our brother, and the same thing he did, we should do it. We will do it, and you will when you come back to the Father. He, he didn't just give Christ that love and kept it from us. That make sense? Yes. Did you know you had the same t truth and love in you that Christ had? I was hoping I did. Good. It's there, but you got to let go and let it happen. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> yes, Raymond. 